I got me some ice cream. Ice cream hot, ice cream cold. Ice cream four and five days old. Had to get me some ice cream over at Wally World. Butter pecan. No, you ain't upset me. You ain't upset me. Two dollars and forty nine cents for for a carton of ice cream. Uh, if I drive, if I go Ace, it's going to be up in the, it's going to be in the Uplander, but it's not going to be in the RV. You know, because I'm, I'm not looking to put all them miles on that and then get up that way and then have trouble. So if I, if I drive, I'll drive the Uplander and I'll, I'll come by, maybe come by and snatch you up. Yeah, I can eat this whole damn tube. This is one of my favorite ice creams. Yeah, it's one of my favorite ice creams here, baby. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> yeah, me and Ace will be eating how on the hog. This one is, it's kind of like French vanilla. Hey, Thomas. I gotta give you a ranch back to you. I, I had to try to make sure it was you, but I couldn't, so I'm just gonna, you know, give it back to you. Yeah. Now, let's go. Hey, Richard. Need some chocolate syrup? Yeah, I think I can. I think Lisa could give me the chocolate syrup. That's pretty good. A lot of teenage kids at Walmarts. It's got pieces. Yeah, it's not sugar free. Yeah, it's 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 not sugar free. I'm gonna make me some. Uh, I'm gonna make me some sweet tea in a minute. I got a box of tea bags. 
I got two pounds of sugar or more. I'm going to make me some sweet tea in a minute. I haven't had no... I haven't had no sweet tea in a long time. This is two dollars and forty nine cent at Walmart's. Yeah, two dollars and forty nine cent. Cheap. I was going to get a box of fudge sickles, and I said, "Nah." I said, "I'm gonna get some some butter pecan." That's from my dad's favorite. My dad. Yeah. My favorite ice cream is Briars. Yeah, Briars. I love some Briars. I had a friend that used to work for Seal Test Ice Cream Company. And every day this man would come home he was a he was a a good friend of mine because it's not you david moore why are you worried about it look you're you're the real david moore the other person i i don't know you don't need you don't need to have two accounts to come in here I used to get ice cream free every day when I was a kid. I found dumpster diving ice cream before, but You know? This is pretty good. It's getting gone. God damn, I want to block him. God. I did not like what he said earlier. Get off my nuts, David. God. Or do I need to just say 54321 and get out of here? You know? I don't know.
I'm not going to eat it all. I'm just going to eat some more. I'm going to put it back in there in the refrigerator. Uh, David Moore is not my channel manager. I'm the motherfucker owner of this channel. Can y'all motherfuckers just stop? God. I, I didn't even need to come on here. And I decided to come on here and talk to y'all and eat some ice cream. And, and I'm trying to get my uplander ready to take a trip. It's, uh, it's butter pecan. Butter pecan. Pretty good. That's only $2.50. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's, um... The calories are two. It's got two hundred ten calories. So if I eat this whole thing, it ain't really, really uh, nothing. He read his test. Forty. It's forty. Eight four ounces, one pint. So it's one pint. Um, says nine servings, but I, I doubt that. Nine servings. Yeah, 210 calories. Not, not yet, buddy. Not, not yet, old timer. I can't leave tomorrow because I got my brother and my mom's going to bring me Olive Garden. I don't want to piss off my family because when I'm not home... They get pissed off when they bring me something and I'm, I'm not here. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Well, I would say. My brother and my mom's going to bring me Olive Garden tomorrow. So, I can't leave until after tomorrow. Because I don't want to piss them off, you know. Prove something to somebody. Hold on a minute. These are Coogees. These are Coogee pant shorts. And that's a fucking 36 size tag inside there. Read that and weep trolls. I wear a 30 si 36 size fucking shorts. Did you see that fucking stick, that, that tag inside there? You see that tag? 36 in the waist. That's, that's what I wear. See? That's what I wear. Coogee. And I just wash these. I just wash these. Everybody, I wear 36 and nobody seems to fucking listen. I've lost a lot of weight. You know, I, I, I don't understand people. They just don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. 
I got a strap mount so I can put it on. I got a pull. Uh, I got a hoodie, a coochie pullover. Did I? That's coochie. See? I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I used to wear a 44 size jeans. I'm all the way down to a 36. Where's the American-made clothes? I got American-made clothes. I got plenty of clothes for you, Ace. Yep. I got plenty of clothes for you, buddy. If I ever see you. I'm gonna brew me some iced tea in a minute. <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I've already started my new job. I eat Turkey Hill ice cream the other night. Ace Man, I'm going to give you them red Nikes when I see you. They're 13s. I'm going to give you them red Nikes. When I see you, I'm going to bring you them red Nikes. Butter pizza.
Them red Nikes that I found dumpster diving, I'm going to give you them. I promise I will give you them shoes. Yeah. Yeah, you can have them. Yeah, I know you do. All right, I'm going to save the rest for a later day. <laughs> you know what the stupid thing is? Is I have to wear a belt with these thirty sixes cause I'm still No, you're not blot. These thirty sixes, I have to wear a belt with them. Because they act like they want to fall off of me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give you these, Ace. When I see you, I'm going to give you these Nikes. They're, they're practically brand new, man. Look, look at that. I found these dumpster diving. Yeah. These are practically brand new shoes I found dumpster diving. Look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give them to you. They're thirteens. They're your size. You know, I, I like, I like helping friends out. Um, uh, I have all kinds of clothes. I got, I got high dollar stuff. No, they're not bowling shoes. They're they're Nikes. Yeah. Alright, I'll bring you I'll bring you some laptops. I might actually come by your house before I go to Pennsylvania. You know, if I do go to Pennsylvania, yeah. Yeah, these are these are nice. Yeah. Yeah, these are nice. I looked up, I looked them up on eBay. I couldn't find nobody that had a pair. But one guy had a pair similar to these. And they wanted $350 fucking dollars for them. Hey, Mickey. And they wanted $350 fucking dollars for these shoes. You know? Yeah. I found these dumpster diving. These are brand new. Look at that. Look at that. Brand new. These are brand new. I found these dumpster diving. Look at that. Look at that shit. I found these dumpster diving. These brand new. Look at that. Look at that. Brand new. You can look at them and tell they never been war. Yeah. And that's why I dumpster dive. That's why I like going dumpster diving. Yeah. These are... I want to say they're almost a... They're a 12. They're my size. Yeah, they're 12s. Yeah, they're 12s. 
You can look at the tag right there. Tag right there. They're a size 12. Oh, and they got the lining inside of them too. The lining. They got a lining inside. A wool lining. No, I don't throw shit away. I don't throw nothing away. Yep, yeah, I found these in Wilmington, North Carolina at Dick's Sporting Goods. Yeah, these were at Dick's Sporting Goods in the dumpster. I also got a mountain bike under my RV that I found dumpster diving. Yeah. Also got a pair of Timberland boots that are brand new. About them dumpster diving. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Timberland. Yeah, that's Timberlands. I found them dumpster diving. Look at that. Yeah. Brand new. Yeah. Timberland boots. Yeah. Do you have any tattoos? Uh, no, I, I don't have any tattoos, baby. Yeah, I found, I found several nice pairs of boots in the dumpster. Yeah. You want to find some nice stuff, go to a Nike outlet. Me and Lacey Lee went to a, a, a nice place down in, um, Mississippi, and we found shitload of Nike shoes, like brand new. Yep. Who is Lacey? Lacey used to be the girl that stayed with me for 10 years before she got strung out on drugs. Good night, good night Mickey. Yeah, Lacey is the chick that everybody said that that did not know where she went. She ended up going to Mexico for five years. And she stayed in Mexico for five years, strung out on meth. Yeah, she's the one that fled on the moped. So people really should be Wishing that girl would have stayed with me because her life is miserable now. She's inches from, from, yeah, that, you go, go to her Facebook account and look what she looks like now. You'll say, oh my God, really? She went to Mexico for five fucking years. And just recently come back to the United States. And she is bad, bad, bad looking. No, she didn't run into no Elvis. Hey, Lisa. Yeah, she, she sent me to McDonald's for a 20-piece sweet tea. French fries, and when I come back, she was gone. 
Well, it ain't nothing I can do about it. She's already fucked. She's aged herself 12 years. She's like 40. She's like 43 years. Uh, 43. Or she's somewhere around 43 years old now. I hate to say it, but she should have never run off with that guy she met. Because he's a drug. He's drugs. I don't do drugs. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I like sex. Yeah, I like having sex and, and enjoying myself. I'm sorry to say she fucked up. Oh, I am now better off without her. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry she disappeared, but... You know? She didn't get drugs until she met that guy. He got her involved with drugs. Yeah. Yeah, drugs can ruin people's lives. Yeah, math can age you. You can take math for five years and it age you 12 years. Bam! Like that. So you don't want to do math. You don't want to do math. No, you don't. Nobody can pay me to do math or drugs. Nope. Weed is not a drug. It's a herb. Weed does not age you. Math ages the fuck out of you. American at large is better. Marijuana is a, a is not a drug. It's a herb. It's a herb. It's like ginseng. Marijuana grows wild out in the woods, just like ginseng does. You know. Yeah, I know a lot because I've been around a lot. Do you know any what? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what you're saying, Lunar. What Do you know any wild... Crafters near the mountains, rich. I uh, I don't know. I, what what are you asking me? Yeah, I don't smoke or drink. I might smoke some weed once in a while with Lisa. I might drink some uh, tequila. I might drink some uh, some some uh, some moonshine. But that's about all. Yeah, I was just trying to save Lacey's life, guys. I hate to see people fuck their life up like that. Yeah, I've had moonshine from Tennessee. I got some moonshine from Popcorn Sutton's daughter. Yeah, Popcorn Sutton, the moonshine, his daughter uh, makes legalized moonshine. She she makes legalized moonshine in Tennessee now. No, I ain't got none to sell. I don't make moonshine.
But yeah. You want to live a lot longer? Don't do no hard drugs. Stay away from crack. Stay away from cocaine. You know, don't. You know, just stay away from the hard shit. Cigarettes? My dad died from smoking Salem cigarettes. Fifty fucking years my dad smoked Salem cigarettes. He had to have a drug, drug looper. How you say it? He had to have an operation on his heart. It was a draw loop, a draw, draw looper uh, operation. Yeah. That, I, that's why I don't smoke, because I saw my dad die. Yeah, a bypass. Yeah. 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 And I used to work for J.R. Reynolds. I used to work for Marlboro and J.R. Reynolds out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I, I don't know. I, I don't worry about him. I'm sorry. I wish him the best, but I, I don't worry about him, uh, Matthew. Uh, my van drives a lot better. My Uplander drives a lot better since I changed the oil. Oil was really, really, really dirty. Yeah, I've had 32 jobs. I can name all the jobs I've had. <laughs> a lot of my jobs were part-time jobs. You know, I had a lot of jobs from 19, from 19, from 1988. Um, I worked at a tobacco company. I worked at all the warehouses in Whiteville, North Carolina. I drove a Fort Left to the tobacco company. And I, I had a good job. I was making $2,500 every two weeks at the, at the tobacco uh, warehouse. $2,500. Put my cowboy hat on. It only took me 25. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I got a belt buckle probably nobody's got but maybe George Strait maybe got one I don't know
pure country. I bet if you go on the internet right now and look for this belt buckle, you won't find it. And if you do find it, it's going to cost you a lot of money. Not this one. This one was given to me by George Strait. I went to Carter Finley Stadium in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I got this one handed to me by George Strait. Yeah, this one is one of a kind. That's the belt. That's the belt that was all. Yeah. That's that's leather. Yeah. Like you need to get a a a a, a, a out of break timeout. I don't take up smoking. You know, you come in here to start something. I got autographed pictures of um or George Strait in my safe right now. And I'm not selling them to nobody. One day, they'll be worth a lot of money. Yeah. I got autographed pictures. I don't see Steve Billings in here. Yeah, I don't I don't see him in here. I, I don't I don't understand. I don't see certain people in here at all. I don't I can't mod somebody up that I can't see. You know? He's not there, Lisa. I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. Do I need to turn the camera around and show you? He's not there. Hold on, man. Anybody see Steve Billings in there? I don't see Steve Billings in there one bit. I, I'm not lying. He might be chat blocked. I, I don't know. Well, I don't see him on my side. I, I don't know. Turn on live chat. Live chat's turned on, um, uh, Ace Man. Live chat is turned on. There's certain people I can't see. I can't see him. I can't see certain other people. I'm not on YouTube. You understand? I'm on another. I'm on Prism. I'm on Prism. <laughs> um, I see somebody that's just looking to get banned out of here. Um, uh, Ferris Bueller's 
whacking off, you need to go uh, hide yourself because I'm going to ban you right now. You're in here just to cause trouble, dude. You're not in prison. I see your, your comment. Singing in the rain. You're not in you're you're not in prison. You know, I don't know. No, it ain't, it ain't cool when he says that somebody's saying something about my RV and not, not they're not. But there's certain people I don't see in here. And I've, you know, there's people that. Um, hold on a minute. I got like 71 people blocked on the other side of YouTube. So that actually might be the reason why I can't see these people. You know, and I blocked them because they worried the fucking hell out of me. You know? It might be nice, and I'm going to unblock a whole bunch of people. And this is not, this is over on my Google account. You know, I'm gonna block these people and they start their shit back, I will block them back up.
I've unblocked a bunch of people. But I'm not going to be criticized for it, Lisa. You know, I don't go on your channel and tell you who to block, who, who to fuck with, you know? You know, I try to get along with everybody. But I just unblocked a bunch of people from over on the other side of YouTube. So I unblocked, there was a Steve Billings block daughter and I unblocked it, but I don't know if it's the real one or not. You know, that's a, you know, you're not blocked, Jesse Scott. I can see your, your, your stuff. Where's the other side of YouTube? You don't know. Over on the other side. Not YouTube, on the other side. When you block some people on on YouTube, sometimes they get blocked over on the other side of YouTube. And you have to go over there and unblock them over there. I'm not yelling. I'm not l yelling. Well, I unblocked the ones over there on, on there. Yeah, on the main Google account, I unblocked a bunch of people. You know. Well, I've been on YouTube since 05, the end of 05 to now. So I know, uh, I know a pretty good bit about YouTube. Oh, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, lemons. I started YouTube at the end of 05 to now, 17 plus years. Yeah. And I would have never started YouTube, but... Yeah, that's, 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 that's D-Life. Yeah, D-Life. D-Life's not going to coexist after a while. That, that network's going to uh, crash and burn.
And I'd like to actually see it burn down to the ground. Because there's some people over there on D-Life that's the devils. All right, I see Steve now. I see Steve now because I unblocked him. I just hope it's the real Steve, you know, not no clone. Let me see if it's, see if I can go to, I'm going to be nice, Jesse Scott. I don't really want to do it, but I'm going to mod you up. Please do not disappoint me. You know, I've known we've had our pro our differences, but, you know, I just, um, you know, I don't know. I don't really need to mod too many people up on here. You know. There's, there's a lot of people that just don't really know my side of my life. You know, people got to learn to love, love people and learn to get along with people. You know, I know I've done a lot of stuff to people, which I ain't really bothered nobody. People bother me before I even bother them. Yeah. And I I really ain't been feeling that good. I ain't really been feeling the best. I got dry eyes. I have water that will come out of my eyes constantly. It ain't it ain't me crying. It's just my eyes uh, water all the time. Go. 
have dry I have dry eye syndrome. Yeah. I've never had Vaseline in my eyes. I went blind for uh, about a month and a half from watching my uh, my uncle weld on a trailer. And I was blind for almost two months. And I had to go to the eye doctor and I had to put some kind of stuff like sap stuff in my eyes. I was blind for like two months. Yeah. Nah, there's no no bullshit like that in my eyes. Really? Ferris? I know you're not the real Ferris. You're just somebody that wants to... Whatever. I've never had no eye drops in my eyes. I'm kind of skimmish when dropping stuff in my eyes. Now, I'll go wash my eyes out in the bathroom with water. I'll wash my eyes out like that, but any other thing, it kind of scares, it sh it scares me out. You know, it freaks me out. Yeah. So, I try not to, you know, do anything. Yeah, I'm I'm just I'm just skimmish. And then my mom just had her, her eyes worked on the other day and I I'm scared about that. If I was to ever get cataracts on my eyes, I'm gonna be freaking the fuck out because I really do not want to have nobody laser do anything to my eyes. Yeah. The other night, I was eating some grapes, and a whole grape, I thought I was actually going to die. A whole grape got lodged right here in my throat. No joke. A whole damn grape got, went right down. I swallowed a whole grape. I didn't even have it chewed up. It, it got stuck right in here, and I, I panicked. I was panicking. And luckily... I went to the kitchen and fucking got me a Coca-Cola and drunk it all down at one drop. Like, go, 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 go. And finally, it went on down. And it scared me. Scared me really bad. Wow, really? I don't even know why I even tell people stuff. And then somebody comes on and says, you should chew it next time. That person needs to get out of my room if they're going to come in here and act like that. I'm a serious fucking person. I'm a serious person. When I... When I talk what I say and I do what I say, I'm a serious person. Come on, it was a joke. And that's the reason why I quit. That's one reason why I quit eating grapes. Yeah, that's one reason why I quit eating grapes for a while. I skipped, I skipped plenty of days from school. Me and some of my friends would ride our bikes to the schoolhouse and wouldn't even fucking go on the campus. We would ride our bikes to school, never go on the campus, go right straight to damn fucking Kmart's and play Atari.
Yeah. Yeah, I... Me and two of my other friends rode our bikes to school one day. Yeah, we rode our bikes to school. And we didn't even go we didn't even go to school. And this was in seventh grade. Seventh grade. Seven. Five, six, seven. And we didn't even go on the school campus. When the bell rung, we hauled ass right to Kmart's. And then some people there was a people, a man and woman came out there and they said, Ain't y'all supposed to be in school? And I said, nah, we're taking the day off from school. So, yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. But that joke, that was not, that was not really a good feeling. I, after that, that whole grape went down my throat. And it lost right here. You know, I was like freaking out, you know. And that's why I quit eating a lot of crazy shit. But... I just don't, I just don't, um, I, I just don't want to, uh, eat no more grapes for a while. No. Yes, I like pecans. Yeah. I just eat pecans and that ice cream. Yeah. I just eat pecans and that ice cream. <coughs> um, I'm gonna go get me some water. Yeah, it freaked me out that night. I was like, oh no, I don't need to, I don't need to eat no more grapes for a while. And that's just like, um, M&M peanut, uh, almond peanuts. Yeah, them, them freaked me out too. But, I get scared, I get scared of eating certain things like that, you know.
I don't know if it's the real Jennifer Atkinson or whatever, but she started hitting me up on Twitter. I don't know if it's the real Jennifer, you know, and she said, of course I'm the real one. And I said, I said, I said, uh, you know, Yeah, Jennifer, yeah, Jennifer, uh, that chick. And she's got a whole bunch of nude pictures on Twitter. Yeah, Twitter and Instagram, a whole bunch of nude pictures of her. Yeah. Even a 36 size jeans, I still have to wear a belt with them. Because they're, they're wanting to fall off of me. Yeah, I, I can't understand my my clothes. Yeah, even even my my thirty six size jeans I got on now, they they will fall off of me. They will fall off of me if I don't wear a belt. I'll I'll be walking around and they'll just they'll go right down. You know, I was like, really? You know? I have Steve modded up. What what are you pissed about?
It was part of the Grand Canyon I got and brought back to North Carolina. That's a piece of the... That's a piece of the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Yeah, that's a piece of Grand Canyon. Rock I brought back. Yeah, that come from Grand Canyon. No, I I don't I don't have no rock. No, that come from Grand Canyon. I gave my crystal rock to my brother. Yeah, my crystal rock. I gave him my I gave him my crystal rock. I'm going, I'm going to look for diamonds this coming next year. I'm going to Arkansas and going to look for diamonds. I'm going to buy me a diamond tester. <laughs> no, I didn't eat all the, I didn't eat all the ice cream. It, I, I got plenty of ice cream left. Oh, I could have sit here and eat that whole damn carton. Yeah. I like sherbet too. Yellow, what you call orange sherbet. I like orange sherbet. modded up so unless you chat blocked him I I don't know Lisa you know I don't know I I don't know I don't know what you did I don't know what you did. I don't either. Okay. That's why I'm asking you. Because I don't know what to do. I, I went over and un unblocked a bunch of people from my... Uh, um, about that? I'm asking. Okay, say the person I did chat block him. Or he chat block him. I don't know. Okay, how the fuck you undo it? 
Okay. You have to go. You have to go up to where you're on your phone. You have to go up there where it says um, where it says manage your Google account, and you have to go over on on the Google side, and you have to unblock whoever you got blocked over We're there. So I I don't know. I I'm getting ready to get off anyway, cause I need to take a shower and you know. Plus, it's, it's getting very soon, 12 o'clock. Oh, my God. I see him right here. He's laughing at you. He's laughing at you. He's, he's got laughing things. Like no, there's nothing I can do because it's on your phone, Lisa. There's nothing I can do. You have to do it on your phone. Because I, I, I don't have control over your stuff. You understand? And you did it on your phone, so... Like really is as hot for you. Who? I'll tell you later. She's real. Who are you talking about? It begins with a P. A P? Yeah. Pit mom? <laughs> no. It ain't pit mom because she changed her fucking number. I, I don't know who you're talking about. I'm I'm not even worried about, you know, even, even, you know. Five, six, seven. Five, seven, six, or some shit like that. I didn't, it didn't box it. Uh -huh, it was uh -huh. by accident. But hold on, hold on. Here's the whole other thing. The other three fucking numbers I have are for tomorrow night. And I meant for the, them to be tonight. Those are all straight in box. This one was by accident. And it motherfucking hit on the PA lottery tonight. You just can look it up. So, uh -huh. by accident, I hit, I didn't even put 576 or 567 in. I did not. 
touch anything. And it just came out. And I'm like, okay, I have played 50 cents straight. Uh huh. Motherfucker came up box, Chris. Uh huh. And then I didn't play box. But all these other. Ben Winkle says like, oh, you take forever to tell a story. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's so funny about it? And I, it's just what people. You just think it's funny? But how weird is that, man? That was by accident. I need my number. It just, I don't know. No, I'm just trying to relax, guys. That's why I'm rubbing my head. Is it? Okay. Again, something that's weird. I don't know. Season says, is Lisa drunk? <laughs> no. I slept with you, No, she's not drunk. I slept with you. Yeah. What do you care, motherfucker? Ha ha ha. I'm going to have a dream here in a minute. They're the porn ears. So who are you talk? Who's the girl you talking about? I'll tell you later. Oh, you gotta tell me in private, huh? Yeah, I don't wanna get a chance. And don't call her because I'm down somewhere. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna call you. Good. I'll call you. Yeah, it's cold in North Carolina tonight. Oh, man, it's so fally here. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Because it's so fucking hot. I'm going to come out west now, man. I had to put my futon bed in the back of my van. I had somewhere to sleep. I got to tent my back windows. Huh? I said, okay, Chris. Where the fuck are you gonna go, Chris? Where am I going? I was going on, going on a trip. Going on a trip. Gonna look for that Bigfoot, Lisa. Why not? Cause I found Bigfoot. You're his. You're his girlfriend. No blow up doll. I don't know why Dave, Dave asked saying that. Blow up doll? I don't need a blow up doll. No, I don't have a blow up doll. I, I don't, why, Lisa? I don't, why are you trying to get an argument with me on my stream? Because we're going to make the um, I'm going to end my channel. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm I'm signing off. Yeah, I'm I'm signing off. It's almost twelve o'clock, and I'm getting off. I'm getting off. Why do I need a blow up doll? No. Nah. You got to blow up rich life? Huh? Hey, you know you can do that. You can specialize your blow up doll. Chris, make up your own blow up doll and sell it. No, nah, I don't want to do that. Why not? Because I don't want to do that. 
No, you didn't ruin nothing, David F. I'm I'm ready to get off. It's it's getting ready to be twelve o'clock. Yeah, I said he gets going for a while. Listen, bitch, you'll be on fucking YouTube all night. You're I'm not going to be on YouTube all night. Bullshit, Chris. You, Lisa, you don't know me. You don't know who I am. Oh, okay. Really? Really? You don't, you don't, you don't know really who I am. You take me for granted. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're wasted right now. <laughs> I just like some meat. So, what do you care? <sighs> All right, guys, I'm signing off.